Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to Beer Review 2200. Yay! I, when you get past 2000, 2200, doesn't, I don't know. I didn't even notice it was approaching because I just had so much amazing beer, and I was like, <laughs> shit! 2200 is approaching. So I just, I had a, quite a few hype beers from Europe. I reviewed them, didn't even mention it in the videos, and then I went to edit and stuff. I was like, ah, oh, shit, I'm about to hit 2200. Right? No. 2200, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, review 2200 uh, is still going to be of a pretty damn good beer, I'm sure. So, here's to 2200 reviews on YouTube. That's pretty crazy. Um, Lots of beer. So, thanks for staying on this long, guys. Uh, still more stuff coming, of course. It's the Master of Puppets. If you haven't noticed by now, I ain't quitting. So, uh, <laughs> today, guys, we're looking at... Uh, a beer I'm really excited about trying. This is a collab between two awesome breweries, Evil Twin Brewing and Prairie Artisan Ales. And this is the Prairie Artisan Ales and Evil Twin Brewing Bourbon Barrel Aged Bible Built. A 13% Imperial South Asian Bourbon Barrels. Now I reviewed the very first batch of Bible Belts, which I did not expect to see in Denmark back in the day. Or what, is that two years ago, maybe two years ago? And it came to Denmark, and it was awesome. Did you have regular Bible Belt? Yep. Yeah, great stuff. So Bible Belt is a collab they did, and it's basically the base beer for that beer is Even More Jesus by Evil Twin, which is a phenomenal imperial stout that's gotten the Prairie Balm treatment, which is Prairie's uh, adjunct to the imperial stout made with uh, coffee, vanilla, uh, cocoa, cocoa and, uh, chili. and ancho chilies, yeah. I believe. So it's no spices, just uh, in, you know, a, um, even more Jesus, but then also bourbon barrel age. This was another beer from Kiosk. Uh, so thanks a ton to Kiosk for this one. Uh, really looking forward to this one. So check them out. I'm not sure if they have more still, but still check them out. Because I think that's sold out on there, though, rather quickly. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, guys. We, yeah, we're excited about this one. But we got it poured. And... <laughs> That is so black. Yeah. Like, if you say black as night... I can smell the bourbon like, from here. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Like, there's this bourbon sweet vanilla yeah. oaky thing. Oh, damn. But yeah, pitch black. It's like, you know, black hole type. Like, I mean, there's no, no light. light at all. But also, even more Jesus is just such a thick, black, rich beer as well. Yeah. So, and a nice... Actually, the head that's there, that's the last thing, is kind of nice. You that's know, kinda like it's a tiny sitting there. Tech. Or tan, kind of beige looking head. But yeah, it's sitting there. Like when we just poured it, it fits fairly quickly, but at least it does have a head, which is nice. But let's check out the aroma on barrel aged Bible belt. Oh, that smells so awesome. It, it smells like oh. yeah, bourbon, uh, bourbon barrel aged muffins <laughs> or brownies. Do you Brownie know what it cake. smells like? No, that's to me. It smells like you, you you took, I'd say more brownies or chocolate chip muffins. I had brownies. With coffee. All right, yeah. In yeah. barrels. Yeah. Holy fuck. This There's smells. also a shitload of coffee. I, I, I need vanilla. to pick up bottles of this locally. What? Because I had brownie oh. and muffin today, like a mix, and it completely reminds me <laughs> of it. You know, it's the same thing if you just oh pour like God. bourbon. You know, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. on the freaking chocolate. It's like it's like super rich sweet bourbon and vanilla, yeah. and like it's it's my kind of imperial stout yeah. because it's fudgy, yeah. and you're getting those adjunct notes, as you said, like brownie cake batter. Something yeah, like that. it's re really cakey, super cake super chocolatey and coffee forward. I'm actually getting a lot of coffee on it. Yeah, but it still has like a roasty, like a roasty sort of. Chowry edge, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not just sweet, sweet, sweet. 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 It it's does just... have some balance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. This smells fucking awesome. It's killer. I think. <laughs> Cheers and thanks a ton to Kes for this beer. And here's to beer review two thousand two hundred or two thousand two hundred. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that. Is a shelf turn locally? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to the local beer shop <laughs> tomorrow and get more bottles of this. 
Fuck, that's delicious. Yeah. And why am I sitting like this? I don't know. Well, this is... <laughs> such big chocolate flavor and coffee. Yeah. Loads oh, of and chocolate and Oh, and here the average taste like a combo of alcohol heat. I mean, it's 13%. But combo of alcohol heat and um, the ancho chili. But it's more of an umami edge in lunch to the beer, I think, than actual, like, spice flavor. Damn, this is good. People were talking about boozy. I don't really think it's boozy because, yeah, you do taste it. It's a 13% beer, you know. Yeah, it's a high ABV beer. But, but, like, the sweetness of the adjuncts and everything just helps power that through. Like, you, you, it's, you know, not too much in any way. You get a nice heat, but, yeah, this is fucking awesome. I agree. It's not, it's not like boozy. Yeah, you get the heat, but... That's probably from the barrel end, of course, the, like it's, the thirteen percent. Yeah, and even even more Jesus is already such a sludgy beer, so yeah. barrel aging it. I mean, often when you barrel age beers, they get thinned out a bit because of the booze from the barrels that leak into the beer. Not or this. Beer. No, because it's <laughs> such a big beer already. Already, it's just super chewy and creamy and soft too. Yeah. Perfect carbonation too for an imperial stuff. It's like it's that so like well you, you notice it, but it's not like you know too much, and it's not completely flat or anything. It's just a perfect amount of carbonation, and those those flavors. It's like huge coffee, huge chocolate, and then the vanilla, and then that, like that awesome coating of bourbon with that kind of maybe not so much coconut in the flavor, but more of a vanilla type of bourbon flavor. Yeah, maybe that kind of almond note to it as well. I think uh, yeah, I think the bourbon. Blends very well together with the like the vanilla almondy kind of taste. Yeah, this is fucking awesome stuff. I gave regular Bible Belt a ninety seven. This is like I don't know. I, I don't feel like giving a, it a hundred. No, no. But it's like it's <laughs> fucking. It's like up there. Yeah, it's, it's really fuck, up there. I mean, the vanilla is on point. The coffee flavor, the chocolate flavor, like it is really on point with those flavors. So yeah. I'm like. 98.99 or something like that? I'm on a 99. 99? 99. I'll join you. Because, because 99. the base beer still... The base beer that yeah. shines through with even yeah. more juices, it's just perfect with the adjuncts in the barrel. Exactly. Everything, yeah. the base beer, the adjuncts, the barrel, you know, you get everything. But, you know, it's hard to describe why it's not a hundred, yeah. but you know, it, yeah, it's, it's just... It's, it's just it, it doesn't, yeah, whatever. It's a fucking amazing yeah. beer. It's a stupid great. 99. Go I get agree. it. <laughs> Go fucking get yourself some barrel aged Bible Belt and... Just a silly little side note. Uh, Yeba, don't worry. This one doesn't have a diacetyl. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm kidding, guys. But uh, awesome stuff. Get yourself some evil... E evil more, Jesus. Evil Twin Brewing and Prairie Artisan Ales Barrel Aged Bible Built, a.k.a. Even More Jesus Done Bomb Style Bourbon Barrel Aged. <laughs> But thanks so much for watching throughout the years, guys. We hit 2,200. It's awesome. Of course, going to carry on going as we always do here at Master of Hobbits. And uh, yeah, let us know what you thought of Barrel Age Bible Build if you had a chance to try it. If not, pick it up now. Thanks a ton to Cusper's Beer as well. If you, I think, in, I thought it was sold out, but I'm not sure if it still is. Check out Cusp to be sure. Link for the shop is down below. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're going to say cheers in some cheers. delicious, big-ass, awesome, imperial stuff, barrel-aged, and see you guys in another video.